Hey everybody and welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe, like and uh, comment on the on this video. The first thing you'll need is this uh, piece of wire. Obviously uh, I've used a cable tie which is uh, it's just an insulated piece of wire. Uh, a piece of copper wire which uh, I've rec recouped from a uh, coaxial cable. Uh, this uh, can be any piece of copper wire as long as it's uh, something that you can turn into a spiral. Uh, obviously I'm assuming that uh, a spiral is probably the uh, the most uh, easy to be made um, and obviously an antenna this is uh, a GSM antenna which was sort of a uh, one of these uh, repeating uh, well it's actually a GSM antenna from uh, um, another piece of equipment and I've chopped the cable off uh, with the connector uh, stripped the ends these will be connecting to the, uh, uh, the the loop that we made and all in the into the spiral that we made and uh, basically the idea is that uh, it's supposed to pick up the signal from the outside and uh, repeat it on the inside. I attempted this because uh, where I live here in Italy uh, we have uh, these nets to stop the uh, um, mosquitoes come in and they're made of a uh, metal mesh and uh, it kind of creates a uh, Faraday cage inside so it stops all signal. And uh, this way, if uh, this works, uh, well, uh, I can at least see if the phone is ringing. So the first step is to uh, connect the um, the um, this loop to the remainder of cable. And uh, here I'm trying to connect this uh, this piece. I'm not soldering anything, just to show how simple this can be. Uh, as I said, I'm following this uh, of uh, some. Uh, uh, tutorial video that I've seen and uh, I wanted to know whether this really would work. I don't have any high expectations for this but if it works well it could be a good thing. So here I am uh, connecting that uh, that cable and uh, um, connecting the antenna to the uh, the ends. Now um, I found it works best and I'm re repeating this test um, on this way but I found that it kind of works best if you connect the uh, the center wire uh, to the ex to the outside of this loop and the um, shield to the inside of the loop. Um, some somehow this kind of seems to work a bit better. Um, I don't want to um, give any spoilers, so I will leave this uh, to your viewing and see if this uh, could potentially work. As you can see, this is now the cable which uh, I've connected, and it's the uh, it's this antenna. The good thing with this antenna is also magnetic, so uh, I'm going to be connecting this uh, on the outside, uh, and then I'll be testing with this uh, with this phone. The network I'll be using is Vodafone, and uh, here Vodafone is really really bad. It really does not have us any signal whatsoever. If I scroll down, you can see the uh, that it says uh, well, it's in Italian, of course, but uh, it says solo chiamata d'emergenza, which uh, means only emergency calls, emergency calls only. That's because there is no signal and it doesn't allow for any reception. Or well, the reception it, it can connect to is some other networks, I suppose. And I suppose that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Right, on this end, uh, you can see that I've, um, I've actually connected uh, the uh, area on the outside and the phone is uh, uh, resting on the loop and uh, <laughs> I'm surprised that actually has any signal whatsoever. It seems to be working, um, although very, very low signal. Uh, I, I didn't have any high expectations for this and somehow, because the loop is in, uh, in range, it seems to keep the signal. I've even tried moving the loop completely out of the way um, and it does tend to keep the signal for slight longer but uh, eventually it'll just uh, it'll just disappear altogether and in this case I don't know whether it's uh, uh, it's something to do with the um, with the phone actually having by chance picked up the signal or this actually has some uh, benefits um, I have tried to uh, see if the um, the putting the uh, automatic uh, network search would change anything um, I think it gets us uh, some sort of a error message, but didn't really see any uh, any change. By the look of it, it does seem to do to have an improvement, which I mean, I suppose any improvement is a good uh, is good news. Uh, but then again, 
it could just be a coincidence oh well, there you go there's a, there's the error message i was talking about uh, but then it picks up the system straight away. Um, I really don't know what that is about. But I know that if I didn't have this uh, device, yeah, no, it generally didn't work. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the video, the tutorial, kind of how to make this contraption. And yeah, there you go. That's what I think of it. I hope you liked this video. Um, and if you did, then. Uh, why don't forget to subscribe? That's where you would subscribe. This icon over there. That one. This icon. That one there. I'm doing all these hand movements. But yeah, uh, there's all sorts of videos which you can follow and by clicking on this link. And that is usually my latest video. Mm, doesn't necessarily mean. That's how you to subscribe. And click on that button. That button is important. You need to click on that button. You need to subscribe. And uh, there's also a playlist. Perhaps you want to watch the rest of my videos. So thank you and have a good day.